So, hey guys, Chauzy here. So yeah, quite unexpectedly, we got a new batch download today. Both the reveal and download, usually. There's a day apart and we usually get a reveal on Twitter and such. But yeah, we already got the batch downloaded on Global together with the SugoFest. To quickly go through the SugoFest, it's the same as usual, really. So, uh, most people will probably not pull. I will probably do some pulls since... Considering we have three debit legends, the rate should be pretty decent. I saw that it's a 10% legend rate. And I'm hoping for some good level limit break legend fodder. Like, the biggest niche with these debut sugos nowadays, in my opinion, is the fact that you actually got some old legends you can pull for level limit break. Most other sugos don't, so... Yeah, that's something Bunny does at least to make me excited for them but yeah i'll probably do some multis we'll see i haven't decided we'll see just how good the sugo is or bad anyway i'm here to talk about the units we'll start with the rare recruits can jump into page one i guess he's pretty bland powerhouse striker and honestly he doesn't do much at all he reduces the spear by five turns uh, reduces damage reduction by 5 turns. And if Captain is Dex or Quick, you boost damage dealt to death down enemies by 2.25 times for 1 turn. I really think that conditional is unnecessary. And even if there is a condition, it should have been strength as well to make him work well with all the new legends since they are strength Dex Quick. Like the amount of death down is dope, but you need to proc that conditional somehow. I think Queen support gives death down, but I don't think it can be learned by uh, page one. That will make him a lot better. But uh, as for crewmate abilities, like all the new batch has this. Uh, for the color you don't do a lot of damage to, you get 2.25 times extra damage. And uh, to the color you do normal damage to, you do 1.5 times extra damage, so basically. You ignore the col color triangle and do a lot of damage to all colors. But it's dependent on Captain. Uh, I don't think the rare recruits... Oh, yeah, the rare recruits do have good support. Uh, attaches to all the Toboropo and... Uh, Yak, Kaido, King, Queen. And basically, if you use a damage dealing special, Strength, Dex, and Quick, characters get 1.5 times attack. Incredible useful support. Uh, the one thing holding it back is that, at least for the main performance in Kaido, they already have usually better variants of this, but like the more options, the better. Uh, nothing no further with potential abilities. If we go to ulti, yeah, thick ulti. Anyway. Uh, this ult is actually pretty interesting, but also a bit disappointing too. Powerhouse Striker unit. Reduce CD, but just three turns. I don't know why they do that. Just make them ready from the start of the quest. Uh, we're actually going to look at the captain ability here, since it matters. Uh, basically, the noteworthy thing here is that if you become captain during the quest, you get five times attack with matching orbs. Otherwise, 4.2 times attack. And this is noteworthy because all this swaps with your captain. And that's cool, but at the same time, pretty meaningless. Like, if you look at Ulti here, she doesn't have any benefits by being captain. So the only benefit is that you, like, avoid a captain swap from the enemy, which is very niche. Like, Bandai has done well with stuff like this before, like... For example, the raid CP9. Like, if you put them as captain, you resist, like, a turn of paralysis, stuff like that. So there's actually a reason for the swap. Now, the reason is very little. So, most of the time, there's no reason to use ulti since it's not worth her becoming the captain. As for the special, a lot of damage to one enemy... Character slot to tandem through block orb, only the character. Reduces bind attack down by 5 turns and reduces resilience by 5 turns. 
And yeah, says defense to zero if page one is on the team or as a support to ulti, and you do a captain swap. But yeah, this special is obviously a lot better than page ones and could see use, but I said that captain swap will mostly be troublesome rather than an asset, sadly, since it doesn't add much to the unit. I'm just going to skip the sailors here because they are the same for the whole batch. It just changes depending on the color of the unit. And ulti mirrors page one by doing an ore boost instead of attack boost. So yeah, very good support for the future and definitely the best part of these new re recruits. Anyway, let's start go to the to new Toby Ropo legends. All of them are tandem. All of them are super class legends. I think for this video I skipped the super tandem part. I feel like it deserves a separate video, so I'll probably have it up by tomorrow. So yeah, just look. Yeah, let's just look at each unit individually, and tomorrow I look at them like working uh, working together and such. Anyway. Black Maria, Powerhouse, Cerebral. And yeah, let's look at this captain ability. Basically, all of these legends are strength decks quick captains. They are basically have the loser captain where if you just have, if you have strength decks, one of the strength decks and quick on the team, you get one captain ability. And if you don't have Cyan Int, you get an even higher captain ability. So basically, the new batch starts at 4.5 times attack. And if you don't have any Psy or Int, you go up to 5.4 times attack, which is pretty crazy. Very good, obviously. They all have some different effects. For, for Black Maria, it's making Psy Int recovery tandem slots and matching slot effects, and reducing paralysis by 10 turns. Very good, but... But I really have to stop giving Quick Legends paralysis reduction. Like, sure, it's good, but we need some variety, and that will be a lot better on other colors, like add a paralysis duration by 10 to one of the other two, and that will be super cool. Now it's like, this is the fourth quick legend with it, so yeah. But yeah, amazing cap. Let's see if the special holds up to it. 10% HP reduction to all enemies. Three turn delay. You do some orb manip, empty block bomb G. So basically just block, sometimes empty, or change the matching. And strength decks, quick characters get a 2.5 times or boost. Then we ha all the legends have a gimmick where, depending on the color of the captain, or if the unit itself is captain, you get a better buff. And if you don't fulfill the condition, you get a weaker buff. And in this case, you get a delayed conditional boost for 2.25 times for 3 turns, if you fulfill a condition. Otherwise, a 2 times delay conditional for 1 turn. And, yeah! I think this is quite questionable. Like, I think all of you know that delay conditional is the worst by far. Because delay is very good, so it, they always block it. And there's no way to get past the delay immunity, as far as I can see at least, so... Like, all the part of the special is basically blocked for 95% of all content. So you're left with some orb manip and a 2.5 times orb boost. And that really makes Black Maria a lot worse than she could have been. Like, the captain is really good, but the special is very suspicious. And, yeah. Black Maria does have some... Uh, utility as crewmate, like if captain is strength or dex, quick dex slots are matching for the whole, for the team. That's actually really good to matching orbs. Like it doesn't matter if there are conditions. That's very good, and the other legends have the same effect. And if captain is strength or dex, you reduce paralysis by two turns. That's very good and. That's actually worth a conditional to remove two turns of paralysis for free. That's actually really dope and gives her some more uses as a sub because, as said, her special leaves a lot to be desired. As for the super class, as said, she's a super powerhouse and she changes, a, changes character slot to tandem so you can use the 
super ta- uh, super tandem. Yeah, you buff your ore boost to three times. So yeah, that's everything. It's fine. It's not high, but three times ore boost, pretty damn good. Can't complain, I'd say. But yeah, uh, <laughs> don't know what to think about Black Maria. Could have been better, but pretty cool captain at least. Supporting the other Tobropo, except for X-Drake. Uh, if you get hit with paralysis, you reduce it by two turns at the start of next turn. Very good support. Just what the Tobropo needed, more good support to use. I think this should be three turns, but Bana has decided that we don't do three turns anymore, so yeah. Moving on to the cutest legend ever released, it's Who's Who. I think... He looks really cute here, actually. Powerhouse fighter strength. And you're going to see some similarities. I'd say this is probably the star of the batch. But the funny thing is that if you look at the captain, it's incredibly similar similar to V2 Kisaru. Like, it, there are some differences, but overall this unit, if you look at captain special, they are very similar. So minus 2 CD, and it's, and it's the same Condition as Black Maria, but technically a 5.4 times captain. And you also have end of turn damage. This is the same as like Shanks crew in duo form and Lady Next Drake. The more perfect you hit, you get end of turn damage. And yeah, this actually makes Who's Who a really good speedrun captain. I think he looks very fun to use actually. And yeah, very strong, like 5.4 times attack with minus 2 CD and out of turn damage. Like, you have to hit some perfects, but it's easy wave clears whenever you can. As for the special, a lot of strength damage to one enemy. Strength X quick catch, get minus 2 CD. And you b- give a color affinity boost to strength X and quick catch by 2.25 times for one turn. And then we have the conditional again. If you fulfill the conditional, you get the plus 1.6 shame boost for three turns. Otherwise, it's plus 1.4 shame boost for one turn. So as you see, we took his our similarities. Speedrun Captain, who focuses on strength X quick, does color affinity, does shame boost. They are very similar, but I think Husu is clearly better. At least as Speedrun Captain, like you can't compare them as subs, we took Kisara as a sub is absolutely godlike. But yeah, can't really complain here. You get a call of infinite buff, shame boost for potentially three turns if captain. Like, yeah, it's very strong, and you can also get and on the crew ready. Like, you have a 13 CD, so with minus 2 CD, you can get 15 CD units ready to use their specials as well. So, that's basically every unit in the game. So yeah, I think this is the star of the batch, easily. Uh, as a sub, there's some things left to be desired. Also, it makes two strength, two orbs matching, that's very cool. But this is not very cool. The special reverse resist is conditional. That's super dumb. I would have understood if this was a crew-wide special reverse resistance. That would have been... Totally warranted, like even one turn resistance for the crew will have been warranted since that doesn't exist right now. But now, it's just for himself and it's conditional, super dumb. Like, it's too late to redo it, but this is very bad design. Uh, as for the super class, changes his slots to tandem, makes tandem matching for the whole crew, and gives a chain mo- shame mod- uh Shame multiplier is what we call it. Shame multiplier by 1.25 times for one turn. So that's very good synergy with him giving a shame boost as well. You can go combine shame boost with shame multiplier. You set a shame boundary and you're good basically. Going to get a very high shame. As for the support, other Toberopo and you. And at the final stage, you reduce CD by one and get a matching orb. These special supports are very good, and now the Tobaropo has it as well. Yeah, I'm a fan. Like, I'm probably pulling a bit, so I'd love to get him. At least over Sasaki, because 
I might change my mind when I look at it again, but I'm pretty uh, questionable about this unit. He's a powerhouse striker dex unit. Captain ability, minus 1 CD, 1.5 times HP, and then it's the same captain ability, giving a maximum of 5.4 times attack. And he makes recovery tender matching, and I'm like, something's missing here. Like, it feels like Black Maria got a lot of cool stuff. X Drake has the minus 2 CD and end of turn damage to bypass resilience or wave clear. And Sasaki has 1.5 times HP, minus 1 CD, recovery tender matching, which doesn't really matter since you probably use Sunisha anyway, maybe. Like, yeah. This captain ability is so bad compared to the others. It's a shame. But can the special redeem it? Uh, 100 times attack, index damage to all enemies, 90% damage reduction for one turn, and strength, dex, and quick answers get a 2.5 times attack boost. And if character is... And yeah, the same condition as before, you can get a good boost or a worse boost. And the good boost is uh, plus 1,250 base attack boost for three turns. Otherwise, plus 1,000 for one turn. And yeah, I don't think the special redeems it. Like, base attack boost is not a big thing. Like, at least not the numbers we're getting, like... If you translate this to a normal buff, we're talking like between 1.5 times, 1.75 times, maybe something like that. It's not a big deal, these rather small numbers. So yeah, like poor captain, not any not a special special. Yeah, not nothing out, out of the ordinary. So yeah. Uh very disappointing so far. Also some two matching orbs with a condition, very good. And this is pretty cool, you can remove burn by two turns. And this is obviously a lot less useful than paralysis. But yeah, it's unique at least, nobody else can do this. And burn can be annoying sometimes, it's just that normally you get more than two turns. But I can see this having some use in the future, but it's still pretty niche of course. As for the superclass, I think this is like the best part of the unit. Changes character slots to tandem, deals a lot of damage to all enemies, strength X and quick carriage get minus one CD, and you apply a minus 50% powerhouse resistance to all enemies for one turn. And yeah, that applying minus 50 power resistance, that basically saves the unit like he has something going for him like he can do the apply the resistance he can at least do the pretty like it's getting more common but base attack boost is still not the most common he can do that as well he can also do an attack boost like he can add stuff to the team now together with that so without that there will be much reason to use him but now there's some reason as well and you also get minus one cd so with the super claw special you technically become a minus two CD captain as well. So that's dope. And as for the support, the Toberopo. And yeah, if you use the special, you get a base attack boost for strength, dex, and quick. Very good support. And I hope we continue with this. Like, in particularly for the local sea monster in the Grand Voyage, it would be cool to have something you could use on a unit there that gives base attack boost because then suddenly versus shanks becomes usable which could open up some possibilities but yeah at the moment i don't think there's any psi cerebral toberopo so anyway that's the legends i'm going to be honest i'm not super excited but i do think they'll be very fun to use once you max them their, them out so you can use the super tenor. But as I said, I'll make a separate video about Super Tandem because I feel like this video is long enough as is. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.